welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. This is Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, and it is the Wednesday night version. We are going live on YouTube. There's a call in number if you would like to call in and ask questions about life, love, career, finances, or connect with a loved one on the other side. The call-in number is 845-277-9131. And if you want to ask a question, just put push, push the one button on your keypad so it will raise your hand metaphorically in the call log. If you're joining us live on YouTube, oh, you can post a question there. Hey, Fawn, Stephanie, Michelle, and um, I think there might be, might be one more person in the chat tonight or a couple more people. I'm not sure. You guys, tonight we are going to take such a nice, long, um, not long, but take our time on the show. I'm going to try really hard not to um rush anything i was debating if i would be able to do a show this evening um because of some of this stuff area that is uh <clears throat> kind of thought it was taken care of but apparently not i'll tell you i spent <laughs> i spent the whole was it the weekend i'm pretty sure it was the weekend the whole weekend in bed, it was the most boring weekend in bed I've ever spent in my entire adult life, my entire adult life, but I slept and I love sleep. I just, I adore sleep. Does anybody else love to sleep? I'm going to tell you sleep is a privilege, especially as an adult. I couldn't, I couldn't wake up even if I wanted to this weekend. I couldn't. Like I was down and out and under blankets and it was marvelous. I have no shame in that game. And if I could do it all over again, I would. I would be one hundo on it. Yeah. Okay. But I feel like tonight's going to be a good night. We're just going to take our time, enjoy the show, and go with the flow. I might not uh, remember everything I normally do on the show that I've been doing for over 10 years, but it's okay. We're going to create a new version of the show for tonight. Um uh, hey, Michelle, uh, Maria, welcome to the show. Um, the astrology is messing with that, with throat chakras. Yes. You guys know this past weekend was a full moon also, right? You're aware. Who's aware? Was this past weekend was the full moon in like Virgo? <sighs> Virgo. And they said like, Something that needed to be healed, something really deep that needed to be healed. Well, at least for my sun sign was uh, was being pulled. So Jesus, just get it out already. My gosh, no need to sit and, you know, make a whole month out of it. We've already pretty much taken up most of February and now part of March with this. Let's go, folks. We've got lives to live. Anywho, okay, um, yes, you can ask a question in the chat or you can uh, call in. Either way that you want to do it is just fine. Please remember, if I do not get to your question in the chat, I either, I could have seen it, okay, and then like went to the next thing and then forgot because that is, I don't know, like, I don't know. I just probably did. So please don't take that. <laughs> please don't take that personally. If I don't get to your question or I forget your question, just post it again. Just ask it again and I'll be good. I'll try to get to it. Um, 
I am going to do names today because they're telling me to do names. So first, don't get scammed. Don't ever respond to somebody reaching out saying they're me in a and you need something. I will never reach out and ask you for money. In order for you to give me money, you must go to my website. Even people booking readings, private sessions with me, and they want to... Um, <clears throat> They want to pay me over the phone. I'm like, no, oh, darling, please don't do that with anyone ever. Never, ever give do that. Go go to my site. Be safe. And uh, that is the only way. So please don't be scammed. That's all I'm saying. What I'm saying is what I'm saying. Now, I'm going to go to um, got names. Okay. And la, 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 la. Or songs. La, 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 la. That song, Loving You, is something. I think it's called Loving You, but if you don't know it from that, it's probably not your song. I'm going to go between names and songs just because I feel like that's how they're going to bring it in tonight. Nothing is going to be like it normally is, so please don't. Um, let's just go with the flow and do the best we can. Uh, uh, the name Joshua, every show, Joshua has been, I think Joshua is like my new number one fan, <laughs> whoever Joshua is here or there. So again, for those of you who are new, the names can be your name, their name, somebody in heaven's name, your name, or somebody who knows name, like, a like your child, your best friend, your whatever. Um, like if you're, if you're, for example, your mom's in heaven, it could be your dad. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just giving examples for people who might say, but wait, can it be this name? Yep. It can be whatever name. If it's, if it's a name, it's a name. And if it makes sense to you, it's, it's for you even. Um, and the songs can be a song they loved, you loved, they would have sang to you, you would have sang to them, or, you know, they like the song, but the other thing the song can be is it can be Whew. it can be um, answering a question as I am hearing the song Blair in my head. You make me feel, <laughs> you make me feel. <laughs> you, <laughs> I can't even, you make me feel like a natural woman oh, i can't even i feel like i'm in a feminine product commercial right now <laughs> loving you <laughs> making me feel like a natural woman okay 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 i'll pull myself together okay 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 um Okay, the next, I'm going to blame this all on being a little bit delusional from whatever's going on. And we're all going to have fun with it, hopefully. Okay, the next, <coughs> the next, um, okay. Next, we have the name uh, Juanita Roberta. We have the name Beth. We have the name, and then Elizabeth, Beth Elizabeth. And then we have the name Rodrigo, Estelle, Esther, Beverly. I, um, J A N. K-O-V-I-T-S or Z is the, the I, that might be a last name and that's okay. Um, and then, and then uh, we have the name M-U-S-L, like Muslin, Mus Muslin. Muslin, muslin, like, like that. Um, it ends with an N. Okay. <clears throat> and then we have the name. If I did, if I already said this name, I apologize. Juanita, 
I think I did. I don't, I don't even know anymore. Um, and then the next, the next name is uh, Joseph. And then the next name is uh, Brianna. And the next name is Caroline. Oh. Tamasita. Okay, now I'm going to go to songs. There's a lot more names. Please understand there's a lot more names. I'm just going to go to songs now because I feel like that could probably take up the whole hour. So the next uh, the next song is um, Sitting on the Dock of the Bay. Watching the tide roll away. Um, something my home in Georgia. I, I really like this song, so I want it to keep going, but they're not giving me all of all of the words. And then Drift Away. Oh, I really like that song. Um, but the, the, the original Drift Away version. Um, and then um, the next song is R-E-S-P-C-T. Find out what it means to me. Sorry, Aretha. I'm really sorry about that one. I need to put some respect on that song, but I just don't have the voice to do it. Um, get it? Res, res, respect. I get it. They, I don't know if they get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, and then the, I'm going to do one more song. So just, you know what happens is as I take a breath in, the song comes. So I don't pre-know what's going to come out of my mouth. Okay, so I don't even know. I, it's not really a song. It's a um, it's a cartoon. And I'm just going to say it. I, I'm pretty sure there was music in this cartoon. But um, Shrek. They're just saying Shrek. Okay. Now, you guys, that is those are the songs that is the um the songs that is the names. Now I'm going to go to callers and questions. And again, I'm going to take a caller. Callers, when I say your area code, please tell me your name and where you're calling from and then when I um and then have one clear question available for me one very clear question and then um and it's one question and once I answer it you don't get to add to it I don't I don't care I'll just mute you tonight because okay I probably won't but I feel tough saying that <laughs> but there are a lot of people waiting and then if you want to if you want to ask a question in the chat, then I'm, I'm going to go from callers to chat and I'll try to stay in the order of the question. So please, um, please, please know that. OK, and I try to take everybody in the order that they also in the, in that they called. OK, 518. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, I'm Val, and I'm in New York, and I just want to say this quick. You mentioned sleep in the beginning. Yesterday, I slept from like 2.30 in the afternoon until 7 a.m. this morning. So oh it was like 19 hours or 20. I love sleep, too. Oh, it's my gosh. Underrated. It's so, it's just so good, right? It's so rejuvenating. Oh. It's Yes. Oh. You get under a bunch of blankets. I don't care if I'm sweating. If I'm tired, I'm crashing. Yes. Yes, 100. What, oh, my gosh. I sometimes, like... I, I'm so glad you're with me. Yeah. And if I can't sleep, it's like a punishment to me. Like, why won't you oh, let me sleep? I just want to sleep. I know. <laughs> yes. uh, I'm so glad you said that because I wrote to someone today. I'm like, I was out of commission yesterday. <sighs> I slept. And I wasn't sick. I was just beat. I'm like, I slept for 20, 19 hours. 
and they're like, oh, if I can sleep more than nine, or I wish I could sleep more than nine, but yeah. I'm yeah. like, nine, nine, that's yeah. it. You know, the funny, I think that most of our world is running on exhaustion and they don't, they, they don't even, so many people don't even realize they're exhausted or, you know, but they, they really are. They real they really are. Okay. So I know. Let's get to your question. How can I help you love? Thank you. Okay. I'm trying to think of how to ask this because there's one question. My question is about a specific person. Don't you know if you need their name? I'd like to know if they will be coming back around as either a sincere friend where we can hang out or more kind of rekindle something. Do you need a name? Uh just a first name is good. Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Okay. So yeah, thank you for giving me that. I was hearing before you said the name, I was hearing no, no. Mm -hmm. As soon as you said the name, I heard he's not coming back. But here's why. Now this is really important to know. I know it hurts mm -hmm. when we we kind of want someone to come back, but it takes a lot of work for spirit and loved ones or whomever on the other side is, can I say that on air? Kind uh -huh. of blocking someone from us. I don't know if that's a bad word or not anymore. But anyway, if, some, if they're stopping somebody from coming to us, it takes it takes some work for them to block, literally block a person from us. So it, we shouldn't be, we should be in a space that if somebody walked out or is not in our life, we should be in a space where we're just grateful they were there and push it forward and let it stay that way. But in this case, especially for whatever reason, they're not letting this person come back in. Um, and if they did, it would kind of, and I, I, I don't want to use this uh, harshly, but it would like, um, it would fall apart right away. It would just fall apart right away because the, as long as there's, okay, as long as this is there, you won't mm -hmm. go to the next step. And it's really easy to put on, you know, exes or old mm -hmm. friends are like really cool house slippers that are so comfortable, but they're so old and raggedy. We don't want to wear them out in public, but we don't want to let them go. And that is exactly what this is. But as long as we have them, we don't feel the need to get new ones that are better and shiny and will be more comfortable. So what they're saying is, as, lo as long as there's any hope of this, you won't push into the next thing. And so it's time for you to just to get get over that hurdle and push into the next thing and don't like yeah just do that I, I'm not even gonna go further into to explanation just just uh push it put push push it forward okay <laughs> okay I'm just surprised not even as a friend but I guess but I want you to think back to what you said a friend that might mm -hmm lead into so your expectation doesn't stop as friend because if i remember if i'm remembering correctly what you said in your statement was you know a friend that leads a sincere friend or more or more and here's what i'm going to tell you that role is reserved for your true partner okay oh that role okay is yeah, reserved that's... for your true partner. Ah, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, friend. Okay, my friend. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you so much for calling. Have an amazing rest Thank of the day. Thank you. God bless. I, you too. I, oh, God bless, love. And I hope this was I, helpful. Thank you. Yes, and get that sleep in when you can. <laughs> as soon as the show is done. <laughs> Thank you, love. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye for now. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to try to find the first question. If I'm missing the first question, I'm so sorry. 
Can I ask a question via the chat today instead of calling in? Absolutely, Mariah. Let me see. I know Mariah put put her her question in here. I just have to find it. Well, I can't. Mariah, yes, you can. So please post that. Um, Jessica wants to know, I was wondering if my guardian angels could help with a baby name. We're having trouble coming up with one. Yeah. Um, Jessica, is this a girl or a boy that you're having? Do you know? Um, anything I think, and how far along are you, Jessica? Put that in the chat. My grandma's name. Oh. And then another Jessica said, I think it's a different. Je nope, same Jessica. My grandma's name was Juanita. So there you go. There's that confirmation. Um, Jessica's down here. A little boy, eight months next week. Congratulations, Jessica. Um, I'm going to tell you the first name I'm hearing. It doesn't mean you're supposed to go with it. I heard Thomas, but now that doesn't mean that's the name you're supposed to give. That could mean, I don't know what that means, but that's what I heard. Now I'm going to tell you this. I know there are a lot of people that want to give a name that's never been used before a name that's never been um, like a name that's very unique. Well, before you do that, look that up and make sure you know the meaning and the life path of that person with that name. Um, because, you know, that's really important too. That's really important. You need to really know those things before you start picking names like that. Um, so if the name is not Thomas, then somebody named Thomas might mention the name. Or if that's like somebody in one of your sides of the family, go to their middle name and find out what their middle name is. Um, but there's two, two names I'm hearing. The first one is Thomas. The second one is Benjamin. That does not mean those are the names that you're supposed to be using, but maybe something comes from those names. But you are going to find a name that is very, very fitting based on this. Uh, yes, that's what I can say. And congratulations uh, again. Congratulations again. Okay, now I'm going to go to the next caller who is 312. 312, what's your name and where are you calling from? Oh. Hello. Hi, my name is Marti and I am calling from Chicago. Hey, how, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How can I help you today? <clears throat> Um, it's a career related question. So I've had a series of interviews with the same company and I'm wondering uh, what's the next move? Are we going into another interview or are they going to make me a, a, an offer? Okay, let me, I need to ask those individually and I need to ask, um, well, I can, will she have another interview with these people and the company? I feel like if there's another if there are, there might be two more steps and then you'll get it. Okay. Okay. If you have not done there. Okay. They might call you in for what's considered a, I don't even know what this is. I don't even know if I'm saying it correctly. I, I don't I don't know, but I just am hearing PR. Like an assessment, some yeah, sort of assessment. Yeah, like a yes, it's it's paperwork, but a PR evaluation, like a, a site, like yes, like it's an evaluation of some sort, and then there will be one more thing, and then yes, you should get it. Um, it's a matter of they okay. So this particular company 
they know if you're willing to go through all these steps and <laughs> do all of this, not that you're really going to feel no, it's a psych. It's almost like a psychological thing that they do because the harder yeah, you have like to work. Test test. Yeah, yeah. The harder you have to work for something, uh -huh. the more, the more that you want it. And then the, um, and then the longer you'll keep it. And then the, like, you'll even like in some cases, accept a little bit mo less for the job because you feel like it's worth so much more because you're not going to lose. Now you put all this into it. <laughs> I so, see what you mean. <laughs> and it's that bait. It's like that baiting along that is, it's like every boyfriend in America right now. Let me give you a little bit. Okay, here's a little bit more. Okay, here's a little. No, I'm kidding. I'm uh -huh. kidding. I'm joking. No, it's it'll be very good. I do feel like they are going to make you an offer. I feel like if you you should still be, even if you really want this company, you should still be looking at other companies and seeing um, and taking other offers. And I feel like there's something in another state, like across a border. It's not far from okay. you, but there's something in another state that will be very, very good for you also. So while you're still looking okay. and not hired any place, and as long as this process isn't done, look over the border and you're going to be amazed at okay. something that you find that you're going to be like, oh my gosh, this is, look at this. Like, it's like, oh, this is so refreshing. <laughs> And you're going to, you're really okay. going to like also look at that then. Okay, love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Thank you so much and have an amazing rest of the day. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. I'm going to go to the next person in the chat that has a question. Uh, Kavita. Hey, Kavita. It's been a minute. Hello, Tony. I booked my trip to Greece in May. Kavita. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, wait, you're not inviting. I know I knew you weren't inviting me. I'm joking. Um, would love to hear what you pick up about the trip. It's going to be fun. It's just going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to go into this trip with a, like, I hear that song, I got a new attitude, my something, something, da, na, na, na. Whatever that song is, you are definitely going into this trip with a whole new attitude. It's just going to be fun. I mean, of course, be safe, of course, but it's going to be fun. You're going to, you're really going to enjoy it. Okay, I'm going to go to five, oh, no. Oh, six, four, you see guys, and just like that, I don't remember where I am in the calls. Okay, uh, maybe 646, 646, where's your name? What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, my name is uh, Esther. I'm calling from New York in the Bronx. Hey Esther, how are you today? <laughs> I'm hanging in there. Excellent. Esther, Did were you listening at the beginning of the show? Um, sort of, kind of. Okay. So when I did I'm the... I'm here cooking. Oh, nice. Very nice. I In the beginning of the show, I think I one of the names that came out was Esther. That's why I'm smiling. I don't know. Maybe not today. Maybe it wasn't today. Maybe it was a different day. I don't always remember all the days. But Esther, how can I help you, love? Um, My mom just passed away, so I'm trying to find out when I'm doing the right thing. Okay. What's your mom's name, love? Lola. Wilma? Lola. Lola. L O L A. Lola. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I'm so sorry for your loss. Um, thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate one, that. I hear her saying, y keep going. You are. Don't. 
I, uh, okay, let me, let me just take a moment. Her energy is still a little, uh, it's not thick, but it's a, just a little bit, it's coming to me a little bit slow. And um, I do want to say I'm feeling um, near the end. Did she have some pain in her? Well, you might not have known this, but like, um, was there pain in her head at all near the end that you know of? Um, not that I know of. Okay. Yeah. Um. What I'm going to tell you is um, so yeah, keep going. Don't second guess yourself. Don't question it. Just do what you're going to do and be okay. strong in it. And that's the way she's saying it, okay? And, and that's the way okay. she's saying it. So that's what I'm oh, going to okay. say to you. Be strong in what you're doing. Be sure and don't don't second guess what you're doing and allow yourself to just move forward with confidence in the choices that you're making. But don't, she's also saying, but don't feel a need to overdo anything, okay? And let others help you. Okay. It's okay if others help you. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, Lola, I hope okay. that... I really hope that was helpful for you. And I'm so sorry for your pain. And she's saying like before, before I'm going, as I'm trying to, as I'm closing out the conversation, she's saying, but wait, tell her I love her. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah. Cause sometimes I will, uh -huh. like I'm, I'm getting ready to go. I'm so sorry for your loss. I hope this was helpful. Thank you. She's like, no, 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 but wait, but wait, no, tell her you. I love her. Tell her, thank yeah. you. Tell her, thank you for everything. Tell her, I love her. Tell her, I see her. I see you. I see you. Like she sees what she, you are doing and she's acknowledging it. And she wants you to know that. Okay, love? Thank you. You are so, I so. I appreciate that. Oh, and she appreciates you. She really appreciates you. Okay, love? Thank you. You are welcome. Have an amazing. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm sorry? I said thank you so much. I really need that. Oh my goodness, you're so welcome. It's absolutely my pleasure. And uh she's she's um in the kitchen and I hear that song. Um beans don't burn in the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know why she's choosing that song. I do not know why. And I could not for the life of you, if you said sing that moving on up song, I would never get those words to that song. Um, but she just flew that line out for you. She's in the kitchen cooking with you. That's all I'm going to tell you. I'm not even going to try to sing any more of that song for you. All right. <laughs> okay, love, you have an absolutely amazing rest of the day and um, call back anytime, okay? All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Absolutely, my pleasure, and we will chat again soon. Thank you, my love. Okay, you guys, I'm going to try to find the next question. Um, okay, I should do another private reading. Oh, J.A., whenever you're ready, I would love that. Uh, I want a love and financial reading. Yeah, just whenever you're ready, let me know. And I have a question for tonight. I'm wondering if I'll meet someone. If not, it's fine, but any info would be uh what would that that would be good. Okay, uh when is Jay gonna meet someone? Okay, Jay, the first thing I hear when I ask when are you gonna meet somebody, I hear August, September. Do you know what that means? <laughs> you get a single summer. <laughs> mm, you get a single summer. 
<laughs> Do you know what a single summer is? <laughs> I always say this to people like I get a single summer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a single summer is before you meet that person, you get your last single summer. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> Popping in <laughs> at the club. Although I don't go to the club, but like you get to be out about single and mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. No, I don't have adult words for these that I can use. <laughs> I'm so sorry you guys have to put up with this tonight. I did not even medicate myself for this show. This is just it. This is it. No, okay, so J.A. <laughs> Compose yourself. A single summer, your last single summer or a single summer is when you're going to be single all summer, and you can just enjoy it with your girls. You can go out. You can be beaching it. You can be boating it with your friends. Like I have friends that have sailboats and other boats in other parts of the world. And um, and I have friends that have like whatever. And if I'm single, phew, off to Monte Carlo we go. <laughs> okay, I don't know anybody in Monte Carlo or Monaco, but I do know people with boats. And if I'm single, let's go boating with all the girls and, you know, friends, of course. Um, so a, a single summer is just a fun summer, things you wouldn't do if you were in a relationship. <laughs> because, you know, you'd be dating. That's why. <laughs> Okay, J.A., I hope uh, that makes sense to you. August, September is when this person is coming in. Take some girls trips this summer to fun places um, and just enjoy it. Hey, Mystic Raven, how are you? Thank you, Mystic Raven. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to go to, I think, is 516 next, you guys? I think 516 is next. Hey, 516, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, it's Kavita. Hey, how are you? My question. I'm good. I'm good. I wish you were coming to Greece. It'd be a lot of fun to hang out with. Oh, my gosh. Yes. I, it would be amazing. <laughs> it would. It would be so amazing. Oh, when are you leaving in May? Yeah, just, I'm leaving May 20th. I just finalized the trip. I'm meeting a friend over there from Canada mm. and spending almost two weeks. So um, I'm really excited. Beautiful. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, just relax, let loose, have have plans, but don't have an agenda. And you're going to have the most amazing yeah. time. Okay, Kavita? You're going to I'm meet, looking forward to it. I feel like you're going to meet people there, but I don't feel like it's going to, you know, it's not going to be serious. It's not like you're just going to like be open to having conversations and stuff. But, of course, keep yeah. yourself safe, love. Okay, so what's your question for the show? Um, question, what about love life? I know you mentioned before okay. um, you know, a couple of weeks ago that I was meeting someone in June, you thought? Yeah, it, it might be. Okay, so I hear June, and then I very softly hear July, which means, like, if you meet them at the end of June, you might get together in July or there's a small chance it might end up being July or that like that 4th of July weekend, which kind of that week can kind of include the end of July or June. But what I'm getting is be out and about that weekend. If you're going to travel like, okay, I feel like you're going to also travel in June where you might and travel can be like going uptown or going to the next like to to the city or something like that okay like okay you probably don't camp i don't um no i live in long island 
I live on Long Island. And I, a lot of times in the summer, we go out to the Hamptons. Yes. Be- okay, so that, that, sure. yeah. right there. That's like the Midwest okay. version, like when the... Midwest says, we're going to our cabin up no more. <laughs> we're going to, to the Hampton. <laughs> Man, what a world of difference between two. <laughs> like, I would much rather go to the Hamptons. I just say it. Oh, anyway, okay. So, oh so here says, I feel like you are going to meet a couple of different people, but you are going to now again, this, this is, we can meet people and then not let it take the next step because like, we don't, I don't know why, but like, well, well, like maybe there was a misunderstanding or whatever. So be open to taking numbers and having conversations. First impressions don't always hit the way they could or should on both sides because of we never know um it might seem awkward because the person was on their way to something or in the middle of some whatever it is what i'm getting is um you're going to i feel like you have the potential to meet somebody in june and then right away i hear july so what i'm getting from this is if you are traveling don't think for a moment that that means, well, I'm not, I, well, I'm not going to meet somebody here. It has to be just wherever you are, whomever you meet, take numbers, even as friends or have them take your number, okay. even as a friend. And I do feel like when you first meet this person, you're not going to know the potential that this holds because you might think uh, they might not be interested in that way. You might think, oh, well, this is just like a for, this is a for example, like, oh, this is just a, um, like a business thing or, oh, they just wanted information, in, more information on this, but it could turn into something much, much more. So please, um, uh, don't, don't make don't uh, make assumptions and and allow yourself to to like have a second conversation, even if the first one was awkward. Okay, that's what they wanted to say. Whew. Okay, that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> got <it>. That's <laughs> okay. it. Okay, Kavita, have so, I want to hear about your trip to Greece? Uh, so please make sure you Definitely. come back and tell us about it. Okay, love. Yeah, I want to do a private reading with you again, also. Oh, I would absolutely love that. I would love that. Thank you so much, Kavita. Okay. I look forward to talking with you soon. You're welcome. Mm. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye for now. Okay, you guys. Uh, uh, Pine Lake wants to know, should I sell my apartments or continue to remodel and rent them? You know, if you continue to remodel and rent them, you'll be able to get a lot more from them. Obviously, it's up to you. Um, Obviously. (sighs) Will it be better off selling them now? No, I feel like you need to do just a little bit more and then you'll get your maximum back on it if that makes sense and if you do sell them I feel like you're just going to turn around and reinvest into something else that's that you're going to fix up and also so yes okay um okay I'm going to go to I did I do 504 everybody let's find out 504 what's your name and where are you calling from oh Hi, thank you. Hi. How can I help you, love? I'm Deborah. Deborah, what's going um, on? I, I feel like I'm under a lot of pressure. Um, and um, today my car started smoking. Like, it just felt like everything was going wrong. Um, um, do you think that I will need to get a new car? Oh, 
I'm so sorry, Deborah. I feel like you might. I think the cost of fixing it is just going to be a little too much. Um, it's my personal experience, and I can't say for sure that this is factual, but there might be um, the things I'm hearing for some reason are head gasket, and then I'm hearing uh, that there might be something with the... Um, well, I'm not going to start to say, I'm just going to say this. I'm going to say, start looking and see if you can find something that's reasonable because I feel like you're going to find something that's reasonable. And I feel like it will just be too much to fix what this is because right after this, there might be something else and something else because I feel like there's one big thing and then these other things that are going on with your vehicle. Um, and then there, this isn't yeah, funny. Kind of this is not funny, but I'm going to laugh at it because I'm, I'm just a bit immature. Um, in case you couldn't tell, they're doing <laughs> that. <laughs> they're doing that bugle song like <laughs> for your car. <laughs> oh my god! I know. I love that car. And they're like, it's a little bit, it's like you're like trying to keep it on life support and begging them not to pull the plug on it. And they're going, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> like it's done. Um, I'm so sorry. You could probably make it last about another month, month and a half. But beyond that, you're going to have um, difficulties with it. And it's just going to be... Um, a, a bit of a continuation of of, of 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 a headache is what they're calling it right now. So if you, I would start looking now to find something that you can absolutely love and you won't have to feel so like, oh, but I really love this and I'm letting it go sort of thing going on. Okay, love? It's true because I, I was offered like a job interview and it it's like... 20 minutes downtown and I'm, I can't take it because I'm afraid to break down. <laughs> yeah. And I, you know what I mean? Like, it's like yes. affecting my life, but it's like, how do you get a job? I mean, how do you get a new car if you don't have the job? And yeah. it's just, I guess once I get a fix, I should try to get something closer. <laughs> Yeah. I yes, I think that if you can't take a job interview because of your vehicle, it's time to let the baby go. <laughs> I mean, here's what I could say also. If you have some place with somebody who has a garage where you could leave it and go work on it on the weekends, that would be one thing. But have a vehicle that is reliable for you. You need a reliable vehicle, okay? I appreciate you. Besides that, my my I had a hole in my ceiling and I was sleeping. It started raining on me. I was just like, <laughs> okay, stop now, please stop. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I guess I'm laughing because it's just like, <laughs> you know, it's like, okay. And then this smoking thing, I was just like, great. Yes. I will just head on home and stay there. So the universe <laughs> is just saying it is time for you to make some upgrades <laughs> in your life. Um, and I get it. Like it's I true. do. I get it. So it's, it's just time though. You I'm have to like, stuck. yep. Don't be stuck. Oof. Just just look at it like an adventure and keep going. You'll be surprised when you change the energy of one thing, how it changes the energy of everything. Okay, love? I sure appreciate it. Thanks for making me laugh. Oh, I'm so, I'm so happy that it did make you laugh and not upset. I really do appreciate it. Oh, I that. needed it. Okay. Well, thank, thank you. you so much for calling in and start looking for a place. Now, so here's the trick. The longer you give yourself like, oh, I'm good. I'm not in a pinch right now. The sooner something comes in, that moment when you feel pressure, it's like you can't find what you want or need and it's all too expensive. But if it, you're not in that space of pressure, then you can feel like, well, 
I can look at everything and you don't miss things. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. You are so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the night, love. You too. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, you guys, let's see who else is over here. Michelle Lee. I know I'm running on exhaustion, Michelle. We're all running on <laughs> exhaustion right now. Um, uh, so Kate wants to know, I think it's, oh, I can't read that, Kate, um, because my eyes are basically flittering. But I think she wants to know if there's any messages from her grandpa. Um, yes, Kate. <clears throat> So for, uh, Kate, uh, your grandpa, he's, he's actually singing a song, and I know it's him. I know it is, even if this, tell her I love her, <laughs> tell her I need my baby. Oh, won't you tell? That's his message for you tonight, Kate. Uh, please know that. Please know that you that that is uh, what the message is. He just he loves you and he misses you. Um, I want you to know he's he's sending you messages every day. He talks to you every day. Okay, love. Um, hey, Mysterio, how are you, Ja? Um, Okay, I uh, I'm going to go to the next caller who is three four seven three four seven. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. My name is Tanika, and I'm calling from Florida. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? Very good. How can I help you, love? Um, I was, I just have a career question. I was laid off from my job about like a week and a half ago and I really need to figure out a career that I can depend on, that I can be independent for myself with. Um, I just feel like it's, it's definitely time because I, I, I don't think I'll be able to depend like on my parents for that much longer. They're getting older and I'm tired of jumping around from job to job and I feel kind of lost, like not sure which direction. I should go in, um, what would be best for me. So just, I have a few options in mind. I'm just wondering what you see, like for job wise, for me, like it, you see okay. or any advice of what you see. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. And then, um, the first thing I'm going to ask you, what's, what's the last job? You, what did you just get laid off from? It was just remote customer service. Okay. Good. Or, um, yeah. like a retail company yep that's fine that's good now when you say you want to be more independent do you mean you want something that pays more or you want to be your own boss something that pays more that i can rely on myself for rather than be independent on other people to like okay. have some place to live or whatever like be able to afford to take care of myself on my, on my own okay okay what are your ideas tell me them and i'll tell you which one tests or get they give the best answer like this is going to be the best fit for you all right um i was looking into um either doing esthetician mm -hmm. or trying to work with animals or maybe like um medical billing and coding or medical assistant or dental assistant um or but like also interior design but because I've always been like a creative person, but I don't think those things would pay well. And I really need to do something okay. that I will be able to like make good money from. Okay. The the first thing you said, esthetician, I could feel that. That felt very good for you. It opened up my heart space for you. Like I could feel it being something like, oh, even the way you said it. The other things you're saying are practical and you think they'll make you more money. I'm going to tell you, people think that people who work like who do brows and lashes and hair and nails that they don't like, oh, they don't make very much. Oh, my gosh. Those people make so much money. 
I mean, so much money. Really? Um, they do. And then tips, tips too, if you're working in a place that does tips. So here's what I'm going to tell you that you could do. And I'm not telling you what to do with your life, but depending on what you wanted to do right, with esthetician work, if you wanted to focus on one area, like let's just say, I'm just giving a for example here. I'm not giving a, this is what you're supposed to do, but I feel like esthetician would be very good for you. Once you do the esthetician thing, esthetician thing, figure out where you want to focus on. Like if you want to further your education, go into like browse or whatever it is. Okay. Seconds. You guys, thank you so much. I'll be back. Hopefully this weekend. Have an absolutely amazing rest of the night.